Rainbow Brain. So, uh, this video is going to be two videos. It's going to be yesterday's video and today's video. So, um, like, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a video. And, um, subscribe if you like unicorns. I got a really cool happy birthday little... So we have this little happy birthday little thing that Debbie gave me. I don't know if you guys know this, but there was a fan here. Before I had this fan, there was... I had this fan next to me, but it sadly broke. The end of piece bended. There was a big cloud of smoke, and there was like little sparks once, and it freaked me out, and my dad was like, what happened? Yeah, it was really scary. Now I got a new fan. Let's start off with yesterday's video. Yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, is it just you and her? Papa. You got 31 yet? <laughs> <laughs> Don't lay it down, you big bat. <laughs> Grandma caught her <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And our dream was to give our hands to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Yes, this. <laughs> I believe I got three thirty ones in a row. Three of them? Three of them. First, three hands. First, second, and third hand, and they were out. Really happening. I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Hours later. Good morning, take out Tyson Steam tonight. So I'm eating cereal right now. Today my aunt going on two planes to go back home to see her husband. I'm not really excited. My aunt Debbie told me that when she gets home she's gonna call me. And I'm kinda a little worried about it because I'd rather have her be with me than with him because but every time I called him, he seemed like he was normal. Everything is good. I'm still not trusting him. Even though Debbie says he is really, really sorry and he cried and like he feels really bad for me. I don't see it when I talk to him. He looks completely fine. He acts completely normal. Are you ready? She's gone. My dad was telling me that um, what I was feeling and stuff, they already talked about. When I was at Susan's house, Debbie was asking my dad about is Allison going to be sad if Kim's not here? And I said no. And then I was talking about I'm trying to look happy, but reality, I'm really not. He should know. I don't care if he asks his little nieces about stuff that you usually ask your nieces. Don't need to know this. My uncle shouldn't be asking his nieces about things, and his nieces shouldn't be telling him the truth about things because he thought it was okay to ask me the inappropriate question because he was comfortable and yet I was uncomfortable because he asked me that and he should have known better but yet he didn't because he was comfortable with it the only person he should be he should be asking those dang those dang questions to is his wife nobody else but your nieces that is the most inappropriate pervert kind of way like 
when I do see Uncle Kim, I'm not hugging him. I'm not being near him. I'm not being alone with him. I'll just say, hi, how you doing? I'm gonna be in the grandma's room. I never could have moved away, but now I see what you teach. I do believe I always should have stayed. Yeah. Is this family at the bed? I can't believe it's true. I'm just this surprised it's you. here thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already like subscribe and turn on the notifications on to this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace bye